Hi, the present clip should help you taking apart the all-in-one HP TouchSmart 610 computer. And by the way, I also published the same clip in French. The link should be mentioned here under. J'ai aussi publié cette vidéo en français, voyez le lien ci-dessous. This clip will allow you to access to the RAM, to the fixed disk and the DVD, the webcam, the graphics card, the processor and some other things and will be a start for a complete disassembly. This procedure contains some difficulties, namely for the plastic frame cover. Let's go! Begin with placing the computer front under on a flat surface. To make sure you don't scratch the screen bezel, you might want to protect it with a cloth or a phone sheet. With a flat head screwdriver, remove the two pieces hiding the screws from the, for the left and right covers. In order to remove the covers, you need to open the I.O. cover right here. It's not open on a picture. Then, you will remove the, the screws. You may then slide both covers inwards and then remove them. If you've got to replace the DVD drive, you'll have to take these two screws out. Then, remove the right side with a flathead screwdriver. For the other smaller clips, you may use the same screwdriver if it's really thin, but do it gently. The screw for the drive is over here. It's easily slided out after that. In order to remove the upper cover, remove these four screws, then insert a, a thin screwdriver under the cover to take it gently apart, beginning with the left and right ends. Then you may remove the cover upwards. Under the I.O. panel, there is a plastic protection of the I.O. block itself, which can easily be removed. The extraction of the fixed disc is very easy. You need to remove this screw here. Then, thanks to the handle, you pull the disc out of its connector in this direction. You will then need to remove the four screws from the caddy to free the disc up. For the memory, you need to unscrew this cover, since the screw is a little special and on top of it easy to lose in the holes in the, in the box, you'd better hold it in place with a piece of tape. The cover is really easy to remove then. You can remove the RAM modules now. If you're not used to do this, there's a diagram that explains it on the yellow label. In order to remove each module, you just have to pull outwards each of the clips pointed here. It then pops out, and you may take it out of its connector. To insert a module, just put it all the way in the connector, then push it back down. The clips will automatically fit into their original position. Let's get further in the disassembly. You need now to extract the frame cover. Start with removing the nine screws pointed by these arrows. There are two screws left. You'll need to put the base out of the way. Just slide the base all the way up. You'll need to apply strength to do this, so you'll not be able to do it without holding the top of the screen with the other hand. Once the base is in, is in position, you can use something to prevent it from sliding back. I used a piece of wood here. A too soft object will not work. Then you may remove the two screws pointed here. It's not over yet. Let the base slide back gently. Open the I.O. panel. You need now to remove the two screws from the I.O. block. Then it can be tilted upwards and taken out.
Disconnect these two cables. The cables must be extracted from under the base and from the passage to the right. Try to keep in mind as precisely as possible the way the black wire is pulled around the block. You're going to free it up from that position now and then, and then put the block momentarily on the right of the base. The last two screws of the frame cover are right here. Remove them now. Then close the I.O. cover. Now in order for the I.O. block to get out of the way, you need to loosen the base hinges covers. You just need to pinch it a little bit to do this. You may then let go the block between the hinges and put it on the right close to the memory. There is still something that prevents you from removing the frame cover, the webcam at the top of the screen. Remove these two screws and take these two wires out of the passage on the right. Again slide the base up and keep it in that position. Then you can loosen the frame cover using a credit card that you will insert under the frame all around it. If all the screws have been removed and if you insist a little, it must come out rather easily. Finally, you will need to put the webcam out of the way. In order to do this, disconnect its two cables. Now you may take the frame cover out. Start with raising its upper part. Then, keeping it raised a little, slide it under the base, still in its high position, in this direction. Now, if you need to go further, you'll, you'll first need to remove the metal plate on the right. Remove the three screws and tilt the panel to the right to take it out. To take the CPU fan out, disconnect the cable, take it out of the passage and remove the four screws. You can clean it up easily with a dry air duster or a soft brush. In order to take the graphics card out, remove the two screws of the heatsink then raise the cooling pipe just a bit, you, need, you just need half an inch. Then you may remove the two screws of the card itself, it will pop out in an oblique position. Remove it from its slot by pulling it out under the heatsink. In order to put it back, of course you do it exactly the other way around. Push the card all the way into its slot and then push it against the circuit and tighten the two screws. Also push back in the cooling pipe and then tighten the two screws of the heatsink. This is the end of our disassembly. CPU fan can be put back in tighten its four screws, don't forget to insert the wire into its passage and connect it back on the circuit. Insert the tabs of the metal plate in the holes on the right, then tighten the three screws. Now you need to prepare the reassembly of the frame cover. Begin with sliding the base in the up position. Now prevent it from coming back to its resting position. You may now insert the bottom of the frame cover under the base. Let's slide the base in its original position. 
open the I.O. cover, the first screws you have to put back are these two ones here. Now insert the I.O. block from under the base, between the hinges of the base, and temporarily leave it on the right of the cover. Open the cover again. You need now to insert the black wire in the passage from the right as well as the two connectors cables. Wind the black wire back as it was before the disassembly, then plug the two connectors back. Ok, here you need to look through the whole sequence beforehand. You are going to insert the two tabs of the block in their holes and then put it back into position, but watch out. This picture contains a small mistake which has been corrected afterwards. The black wire must not be led over the right tab of the block. You need to lead it under this tab, otherwise you will not be able to put the plastic protection back into place. When this is done, you may tighten these two screws and then close the cover. Now you may put the webcam into place. You have to lead it over the upper part of the frame cover and then you may connect the cables back. Press everywhere on the frame cover in order to close the clips. Put the screws back on the webcam and lead the cables in the passage. Also put the hinges cover back. Put the base in the up position and tighten the first two screws of the frame cover. Tighten the nine screws of the frame cover. Place the memory cover back in its position by inserting first the tabs on the right and then tightening the screw you must have kept, it's different than the others. Put the plastic protection of the I.O. block back into place. Slide the upper part of the frame cover under the base. A tab inserts itself there. Press all the upper part of the frame cover to set the clips into place, then tighten these four screws. If you have removed it, don't forget to put the screw of the DVD drive back into place. Then you may press the right side back, beginning with the clips on the screen side. Tighten the two screws back. Open again the I.O. cover, it is closed on the picture, sorry for that, my mistake. Put each of the left and right covers in their tab holes. It's not really easy if, if you slide a cover without having placed everything correctly, or if the I.O. cover is closed, it may be stuck and it will be difficult to take it out. When everything is well inserted, just slide, slide the cover outwards. You may then put the screw back in. Press the little plastic screw protections back into place. Begin with the upper tab and then press the lower tab down. Thanks for viewing this clip, I hope it's been useful to you. Our website is in French only, but you're welcome to have a look. We are available for on-site intervention, in French or in English, for assistance or training on computers in the south and southwest Paris area, as well as in uh, North Department 28 and South 27. Thank you.